Hello, so to get uh, a Nearpod lesson, um, as you can see here, into uh, a Moodle site, fairly simple process. Uh, like the video I showed you, uh, you'd need to use the student paste option. Uh, so if I choose student paste, uh, I'm going to launch a new lesson, but if you've done it before, you may very well have one that you can use already, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter which one you want, but I'll set you up a new one from scratch just to sort of talk you through the process. Uh, I want this to be available for sort of the next year, um, so I'm going to keep moving the date. Uh, however, the longest you can do is 364 days, I believe it is. Um, yeah, 364 days, so it will eventually run out, and although the Nearpod itself won't disappear, it, it remains in Nearpod for you to use, you just need to generate a new code. It's I think the idea behind it is to make sure that you're keeping the most up-to-date version of any resources you create, so you can't just leave it there forever and go, oh, I'm not touching that again. The idea is, after a year, and you maybe you're, re you're reteaching, at least you'll then look at it and go, actually, I need to change that slide or add this in or whatever it might be. So you've got all these options here. So the one they show in the video is just the link, uh, but we want to do to get it into Moodle the embed code. So I'm going to select embed. Uh, you're then given the option of small, medium and large. Uh, again, feel free to mess around with whichever one you like, but essentially when you tick it, all it does is change the width and height. So even if you do choose large, you can actually change that inside Moodle later and make it whatever size you like. So I'll choose medium for this one, um, uh, but you can do whatever you want. You can also set it uh, as well that the students have to respond uh, and it stops them sort of skipping through the presentation without doing the, the activities you might have designed. So you may want to turn that on. Uh, again, that's obviously uh, down to you and what you're, you're doing with, with this. So I'm going to click copy. I think it's just done it. We'll soon find out. Um, I'm going to turn the editing on in my Moodle site. Now this will go into anywhere that you have um, the, the the editor essentially. So I can do it in a label, a page, a book, uh, in part of a. So I've got one here in a label. So I'll do this uh, again, just to sort of. So I'll, in this case, what I'll do is I'll um, put it in a, a Moodle book. But as I say. This is kind of irrelevant of how you're using it. So this is going to be my teaching materials. And that's what the name of the book is. I'm going to save and display that. And it takes me inside the book. And this is where I'll put in my near Nearpod resource. Now, obviously, I'm just typing this. You can give it whatever title it would be that makes actual relevant sense to your students. Mine is purely for this demonstration. So. Um, if I paste it in, yeah, there we go, it's it's copied the code, but that won't work on its own. So what I need to do is delete that for now, drop down the content and go to this HTML viewer here. So you see all these funny kind of bits pop up. Because there's nothing else in here at the moment, I'm just going to highlight it all and paste that in. Uh, if there was other content already there and you're adding a Nearpod into a, a page you've already created, you'll need to sort of maybe ask your online course developers for help uh, to work out where you want to put it if you don't really understand what the code is telling you. Uh, but once you've done that, you just click Save Changes at the bottom, and then the Nearpod resource is embedded into uh, the, the material. As I say, uh, what I've just done there in, in the, the book works exactly the same in a label or in uh, the page resource in Moodle or anywhere that you do have uh, the the drop down editor. So if I was to edit the topic space, if I edit the topic where it says recording a previous, in the summary here you can see it's got the WYSIWYG editor uh, which stands for what you see is what you get if you didn't know. Drop it down, HTML view and then paste it in and go from there. So it, anywhere you see this you can enter text, you can add the Nearpod using this HTML option at the bottom. Uh, hopefully that will help you to embed your uh, Nearpods into your teaching and as you can see here uh, I've got one as a label but also one inside the Moodle book as well.